In this guide we're going to show you how to use the effect view, where the full range of effect parameters can be accessed, and we'll also hear examples of each effect in action. Absinthe 6 effects are an important part of its sound, and while there are some simple controls for the effects in the patch view, we can get the full range of parameters in the effect view. Here we're looking at the effect view with the floating tetrahedron preset loaded. We can see from the illuminated power button that the effect is on and etherizer is highlighted, so we know that's the selected effect. In the large panel we have the full range of controls for the effect. So for example, let's turn up the etherizer's transpose control to plus 12 to hear how it sounds. You can control the mix of the signals that go into the effect with the input mix panel. Currently the master channel is set to maximum, but we can set this up how we like. So for example, we could just have channel C come through the effect without any channel A or B. Let's have a look at what each effect does and hear an example of it in action. We've already heard Etherizer, which is based on a granular delay with transposition, feedback and filtering capabilities. For example, if we turn on the filter, it emphasises the vocal quality of the floating tetrahedron preset source signal. Parameters can be controlled by an envelope, LFO or macro. Multicomb is a flexible effect, offering up to six independent delay lines. It's useful for a variety of modulation and resonance effects. The Absolute Havoc preset uses Multicomb to add highly characteristic modulation. Let's hear the sounds without Multicomb. And now with Multicomb. Resonators simulates three resonating bodies which can produce hall and delay effects and also simulate the sound of various objects. The Warp Stride preset uses two resonators to make the dry signal sound much more atmospheric. Let's add another resonator with a large size scale setting to add an extra layer of atmospheric ambience. Pipe is another resonator effect with an abstract sound. The slow crawl bass uses this effect to give it an organic feeling stereo movement. Try turning up the feedback for a delay style effect. Echoes features three delay lines for classic echo style effects, each line offering low, high and all pass filters. The Odyssey preset uses this effect to create a rhythmic groove. Try using the beat mode to sync the effect to the host tempo, then using the horizontal fader to change the character of the effect. Multitap is a simple delay line with three taps and offers longer delay times and modulation options than Multicomb. High Energy uses Multitap to give its rhythmic synth tones a more dramatic atmosphere and rhythmic interplay. The effect view is also home to the surround and control panels, and we'll look at these in future videos. Thanks for watching, and make sure to check out the other Absinthe 6 videos in this playlist.